What's going on guys? This is Gibbs and I'm going to tell you why G2 will be the RLCS Season 4 World Champions. First off, we're going to start off with the team captain, Kronovi, the only undefeated player coming into the Season 4 World Championships. He won Season 1 World Championships with two other players, obviously Lucinho and Over Zero, but he's got two new teammates with him, JNAPS and Rizzo. And honestly, Kronovi, the best individual game win percentage, except behind yours truly at number one, but... He's got some teammates, too, that have some great land experience, or at least one of his teammates does. A great world championship experience. Also made a run out of world championships, and that would be one and only Baby Rizzo back when he was on take three. The only team they lost to was Flipside Tactics, the eventual world champion. So you could say that season number two, second best team at the world championships was take three. Rizzo defying all odds, take three defying all odds, and playing exceptionally well at the season two world championships. Now, both Kenobi and Rizzo only have one world championship experience, but they were just waiting. They were just waiting for their third member to get super hot. JNAPS, the season four MVP. Watch out for him. Highest score per game. In the entire region. Highest number of MVPs. He was an absolute beast. And honestly, he's coming into his first world championship. Ready to show the world what he is made of. Ready to take on those European foes. As well as the OCE region. And honestly, it's going to be a bloodbath. And finally, guys, that's it. G2 Esports, your Season 4 world champions. Kronovi, JNAPS, Rizzo. Nothing's going to stop them. And... The only thing that has to take place is can Rizzo actually pick up that trophy or is it too heavy for those weak little arms? But that's it, guys. G2 will be your Season 4 World Champions.